Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about what to do when your iPhone stuck on Apple logo. So, your iPhone is stuck on the Apple logo and won't turn on. I know you might feel terrified because it renders your device almost unusable. A screen stuck showing the Apple logo will occur when you're restarting the iPhone, restoring from a backup, updating iOS, or migrating from an old device. In these cases, all you see is that an Apple logo continues to show up on a black or white screen for hours. You might try pressing some buttons or swiping the screen. Only get the results of iPhone frozen on the Apple logo and never load the lock screen and home screen. If this is your case, keep watching and we'll show you how to fix iPhone stuck on the Apple logo. First, let's quickly go through some scenarios that most users in the Apple discussions community might encounter when they have a stuck Apple logo screen. You buy a new phone and intend to migrate data from a previous device, but get stuck on Apple logo white screen during the transferring process. You're updating or restoring an iPhone and find it crashes, ending with an Apple logo and a progress bar not moving for more than one hour. Your iPhone crashes because of storage full. You try to restart the device, but it doesn't take you to the home screen to unlock and use it. Next, let's take a look at why your iPhone is stuck at Apple logo and not turning on. iOS bugs, system data corruption, storage space full, interfered data transfer corrupted files pop up from the update or restore process, jailbreaking errors, broken internal components, water damage hurts iPhone causing it to get stuck on Apple logo and not get past this booting stage. Now, in the following, we'll show you how to get the iPhone out of the stuck Apple logo screen and turn it back on. Instead of doing a high-cost device repair, there are some free and easy methods you can try to reboot your iPhone if it's frozen on Apple logo. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods step by step. Besides, if you have any questions about attempting these tricks, write them down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. Force shut down iPhone. Is it true that you're not shutting your phone for more than half a year or even a year? If yes, then it's time to do a forced restart to refresh the system. This helps clear away the potential bugs that stop your device from booting up and make it stuck on the Apple logo screen. After that, you can get your iPhone back up and running without affecting the data inside. Here's what you need to do. If you're using an iPhone 8, iPhone 10, or later iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release the volume down button. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If you're using an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the volume down button and side button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. If you're using iPhone 6s or older iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the home button and the sleep or wake button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. This method can be done within 2 to 3 minutes. So, you can try it more times if you do it wrong first like getting an SOS contact. Connect iPhone to a computer to update system. Doing an update is good, as it can bring new features, improve the user experience, and come with fixes to solve the bugs in previous iOS versions. Though, things go wrong if it's not installed well on your iPhone, leading to Apple logo stuck on your iPhone. Worry not. We'll introduce a new way to update your device and fix the installation bugs. Here's what you need to do. Get a working USB cable. Get a Windows or a Mac laptop or desktop. Download iTunes or Finder application on your computer. Get your iPhone that's frozen and won't get past the Apple logo. Once you've prepared everything, now let's start. Run iTunes or Finder on your computer. Use a USB cable to connect your iPhone to a computer. Depending on your iPhone model, you'll need to follow different steps to enter recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side, or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. Once your iPhone is in recovery mode, iTunes or Finder will detect it and prompt you to update or restore your device. Choose the update option to download and install the latest available iOS version. The process might take a very long time, but it's worth it. Once done, let your iPhone restart. 
Connect iPhone to a computer to factory reset. Have you backed up everything on your iPhone? If you have, then just factory reset the device and start over from scratch. Sometimes it's hard to spot the exact causes of an iPhone frozen on the Apple logo screen. Doing the reset saves your efforts by eliminating all potential bugs in one step. Here's what you need to do. Run iTunes or Finder on your computer. Use a USB cable to connect your iPhone to a computer. Follow the on-screen instructions to enter recovery mode. For my iPhone 11, I'll need to press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. Now, when you see this dialog box in your computer, choose the restore option to erase all data and settings on your iPhone and restore it to its factory settings. Wait for the restore process to complete. Maybe one hour, maybe three hours. After the restore is complete, your iPhone should restart and prompt you to go through the initial setup process. Follow the on-screen instructions to set up your device. Then, you should successfully unfreeze your iPhone stuck on the Apple logo. See if Apple experts can help. Still find that the iPhone gets stuck on the Apple logo screen? The hardware might be at fault. If you live near an Apple repair store, go and ask for help from the expert there. If not, consider sending an email to Apple or calling the Apple support number. If your iPhone is still under warranty, Apple should cover the repair for free. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on how to fix an iPhone that's stuck at the Apple logo. We sincerely hope that the troubleshooting steps we've shared have been effective in resolving your issue. Remember, if you ever encounter any issues with your iPhone or any other device, don't hesitate to seek help in Cora Radar. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in getting your iPhone back in working condition. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. Until next time.